Hello everybody, welcome to a very, very special video. Um, you've got myself in it, and over the other side of the table is my lovely wife. Hello. Olivia, aka Girly Bunches on YouTube, uh, Crochet Extraordinaire. Um, and this is a very special video we're going to do here. Um, this is a Raspberry Pi. Um, you will have seen my unboxing of it and my setup of the case, which you can see right there, which is in the shape of a Raspberry. Um, what I've done here is I've set up a monitor, just a standard monitor. Um, I've set up some speakers just in case we get any sound. Um, we have a USB mouse and a USB keyboard plugged in and we have a LAN cable that's going all the way back to the other side of the room um, to our router uh, to get internet. Now because this is a VGA monitor um, we have a VGA to HDMI adapter which you would have seen in a previous video um, so it's all connected up into the Raspberry Pi and I haven't switched it on yet because I wanted you guys to be the first to see this. So, here we go, let's see what happens. I do have my quick start guide here that I got sent from RS Components and it's got the login details to see if we can get up the desktop. They have supplied um, a distribution, a Linux distribution for the Raspberry Pi on a SD card which is in there right now. So, hopefully, We'll see what happens, and um, yeah, so I'm going to fire it up, and let's let's go for it. We have lights on the Pi, which is always a good sign. Um, I believe the monitor is on, and we have loads of lights going off like a Christmas tree at the minute. Sorry. Right. Okay. That was good. Right, let's work out what's going on here, shall we? Let's have a look. I'm going to unplug and then plug back in the HDMI connection to see if it's that that's not connecting in. Yeah, flip, flip the screen again, that's it. And then flick it back on again. Hello everybody, um, right, sorry about the jump cut there, but obviously the other monitor, it wasn't happening. Um, the VGA to HDMI connection, obviously not, not good, I had no signal into the monitor. So we've got our TV from the bedroom and we popped it in to the living room. Um, and I've connected it via HDMI into it, so hopefully now it should work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to plug in the Raspberry Pi and see what happens. This is where everything goes bang. Right, so we have lights on the Raspberry Pi. Hey hey! We have it initialising. Is. It's still doing things, I believe. I hope. Just waiting for it to ask for the login it details. Is. It's not asking for them.
Anticipation's killing us, folks, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to get back to you in a second, folks. Hello again. Sorry for the jump cut again. I do apologise. Um, we had a few issues, I think, with the SD card that we had before, which is that one that came with it. I think um, that was corrupted. Um, so what I've done... I have um, taken some pictures of what actually happened on the screen and I'll insert those in a second um, so you can see what happened and if anybody has got any idea what happened I would love to know so please leave some comments on that. Um, I've downloaded and installed onto the new SD card that's in there now um, a new operating system for it a new Linux distribution um, bit scary because I had to use the terminal on my Mac which was a bit scary to say the least um, there are many tutorials on the internet um, on YouTube on how to do it um, I will leave a link below to the one I used um, and we're going to fire it up and see what happens now. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do now is plug it back in. And hopefully this time we have lights. So that's always a good start. This is looking a bit more promising. It's just starting all its all its um, things. Ooh. Well, this is new. Okay. So it's asking to type that to launch the graphical interface. So let's let's see what let's see what happens. This is looking very promising. Ho oh, ho ho! <laughs> we have, ladies and gentlemen, a graphical user interface. How cool is that? Wow! Right, let's see what this can do then. Okay, so I'm going to go down here and just have a look around, see what, see if we can get on the internet. Here we go. So, we're going to pick um, 
a browser, a lightweight web browser. Is it going to? Is it not going to? Mm. Oh! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Wow. So, let's see if we can get BB Google up. Let's try Google. www. dot Google. Let's see if we can search with Google. Wow. Well, that works. No, I won't do that. I'll give you the top of the way. What's it say? Mm. Just say hang on a minute. Okay, hold on. Right, I'm just going to do a little cut there because I just want to have a quick explore and I'll be back. Okay, so we've um, fired up Google. Uh, now I'm going to search for the BBC website, so I'm going to type in BBC and then when you go down to the BBC, there it is. So it is a bit slow, slower than normal, but it's doing it. And there we are, we're on the BBC website. I'm going to say yes to cookies because that's fine. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> that's amazing. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a £25 computer on the internet. That's amazing. Admittedly, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it is doing it. I'm just going to go into BBC News and bring up BBC News. Don't know if you can see that on the screen. I think you can. And there's BBC News. Brilliant. Well, there we go. So that is the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to do um, a lot more work on this and have a look and see what I can um, program. I'm going to try and program a game on it and see see what happens. Um, I'm astonished. It is, it is awesome and I'm glad it works. We had eventually, <laughs> we had a couple of hiccups but we're on there now and um, yeah, amazing. Okay, so thanks for watching this, um, if you've got any comments please leave a comment, I would love a thumbs up for this because <laughs> frankly it's taken all day to get to this, this stage um, but I'm very pleased we got there so please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more please subscribe to my channel, we've got all sorts of things coming up, we've got um, unboxings, reviews, all sorts of things. Um, so, again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again. Thanks. Bye-bye.